All right, so in today's video, we are just going to build this pretty nice little animation on hover like that. You can put it on navigation links and it will render us pretty well, actually. So let's code it right now. Up, up, great. So we do have just two files, index HTML and a style CSS. So I just open the live server, great. And I just put there an H1 animation animation like that okay just a little h1 for the example now we can go in our style css we just have a simple reset and a body with a font family okay so it's pretty basic stuff we just need to style our h1 right there so we will just center it with position absolute and top 50 left 50 and transform translate minus 50, minus 50. So it's just to center it actually. Okay, so now look, it's it's right there, but it looked too close to the bottom. So I will just put 40% there. Okay, great. So now we can style it with font size of 80 pixel, a cursor pointer. It's not mandatory, but it's, it's better. And uh, right now it will have the width of the content since it's in position absolute. But if it's not in position absolute, look, it's a block element and it will take the full width, okay, width auto. So we need to be careful with this animation. We really need to just have the width of the content right, right there, okay? So just like that, if he wants, okay, just like that. So if you don't have it, just put a display in line. So I, I will uh, I will keep the display inline here just in case someone is using it and have trouble with a display block. So now the animation will uh, run with a pseudo element after. So h1 after after we will put an empty empty content like that. Okay, just to initiate the pseudo element, a display block position absolute which is relative to the h1 since it's a position element two okay a width of 100 percent a height of three pixel i can remove that okay a height of three pixel a background black like that oh, oh, oh. and a transition on transform okay the transition duration is 0 0.2 second and easing out is the easing Okay, great. So we can see the underline actually. We just need to transform scale zero. Okay, and bye-bye, it will disappear. Great. So now what do we need to do? We need to hover the H1, the title, and it will trigger the animation. It will scale from zero to one uh, hour, hour after actually. Okay, so H1 hover after. So when we hover the H1, so the after, okay? We will transform scale one, okay? And now, ta-da, it's working, it's great. It's pretty nice, it's pretty simple, but when you have some links, it's it's really good to, to, to make this animation because usually you don't have much information that it's a link because people are removing text decoration and the color and everything. So uh, with that little animation, you can see that uh, yeah, you have some links here and it's important actually. It's important you can click on it or you can do some stuff uh, with it. You can go on another page or thing like that. Okay, so you can uh, play with scale or scale X too. Okay, so it will do pretty much the same, but scale X is just the X axis and scale Y will we will also transform from the Y axis. So yeah, it's a minor difference actually. So it's it's pretty much the same. Okay, so I hope you enjoy it. Like, subscribe, and see you next time. Bye.